हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग बाय एम के गुप्ता आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड यस टुडे आई एम हियर विद माय नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एंड वी विल कॉन डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट बेसिक थिंग इन आवर सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग आल्सो एज वेल एज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट दैट हाउ द डेवलपमेंट एंड टेस्टिंग थिंग्स आर come up and is also completed like what process we follow so the today's topic is all about sdlc it's uh, it is a software development life cycle so yes today we will going to discuss about what is a software development life cycle how's the how this process start and how this uh, will end so yeah guys uh, let's get started so what is a software development life cycle what we understand by sdlc so sdlc is a continuous process of creating a software or a product that makes sure the quality and correctness of the built software sdlc main goal is uh, to produce the high quality software that meets the customers expectations and requirements uh, the developed system or software should be completed within the defined time frame and also with the predefined cost as well sdlc consists of a complete structure which shows like uh, how to plan how to build and also how to maintain a particular software application or specific software application every phase of the sdlc has its own process and deliverables that feed into the next phase of it also sdlc consider considered to be the base or foundation for all the software development methodologies with various activities associated with each level of it so yeah guys here it is the most important thing that sdlc is the base or we can say it is a foundation upon which a particular software uh, is developed and then uh, is being tested and then it goes to the production and also the maintenance uh, is uh, also a part of sdlc and uh, yeah software development methodologies and models so it means that we have a various or different kinds of models and methodologies like waterfall model is there spiral model is there v and v model is there or we can say v model is there prototype model is there hybrid model is there also there is a, a methodology which is a agile methodology so nowadays most of the companies and organizations are following these method methodologies for a uh, fast development of a particular software so all these models and uh, also the agile methodology we will going to see in near uh, future and we will discuss about these upon this topic so yeah also uh, like uh, sdlc is stands for the software development life cycle so what are the phases in sdlc so there are different phases in sdlc through which a particular software application needs to go like requirement collection or planning first phase is requirement collection and planning second phase is feasibility study or analysis third phase is designing fourth one is development fifth one is the testing sixth one is deployment or we can say installation and the last but not least is the maintenance part so through these phases a particular software needs to go and uh, we will going to see each of these phases one by one so yeah guys before going to each of these phases into the deep if you want to uh, learn about what uh, is quality assurance and what is quality control and uh, also what's the difference in between them you can go to the i button and then you can uh, yeah like jump to the to that video uh, so that you can also see and uh, also can gain knowledge in that particular topic also so yeah let's continue 
so the first phase is requirement collection or a planning in this phase relevant information is collected from the client side to develop a software or product as per their requirement and expectations any confusion must be cleared out in this phase only ba and pm that means business analyst and project manager set up a meeting with other client to gather all the information like what is the need of client and about the target audience purpose of the product so these are the points which are uh, like uh, discussed uh, with the client the next one is that this phase provides the core understanding or knowledge of the product for next phase so yeah that means uh, in this phase uh, like uh, two things are there uh, yeah like uh, client is there like abc client is there and xyz uh, is the company so the ba from xyz company will go to the abc client and then there he or she will collect all the requirement from the client side and then he he or she will do a meeting with the project manager and then uh, they will like uh, see and analyze what are the requirement uh, of the client so like this the requirement collection is gathered and then uh, it will like uh, feed into the next phase of the sdlc that is feasibility study or analysis so once the business requirements are there so the next step is to refine them and uh, also need to document that thing to get the approval by the client this is uh, we can say it is called as a software requirement specification so sras that is software requirement specification is a document which consists all the requirements which needs to be designed and developed during the life cycle of the software generally like uh, there are project manager business analyst and other senior team members are involved in this phase to do the analysis upon the requirement collection and uh, the output of this phase is then uh, feed into the next phase of uh, sdlc that is like uh, designing so in designing there are two things first one is a high level designing second one is a low level designing so in high level designing it gives the architecture of the software product to be developed and is done by the architects and senior developers whereas in low level designing it is a designed by senior developers it explains like how all the uh, available features in the product should be uh, work and how every component should work here also uh, like here only the design or we can say a blueprint will be there and not the code like the coding part is the next way is the next part of the sdlc but a map will be there upon which the development and testing will be done so the outcome from this phase is a high level designing and low level designing uh, yeah for an example if you talk about a general example so if uh, there is a person who wants to build a home for uh, uh, like for the family so a uh, architect will be there he will first create a particular normal basic map where he will design a particular plot and in that plot he will mark that uh, here it is a home and this section is for uh, this particular section is for garage this particular section is for garden area this particular section is for gate so like this uh, this will be done in a high level designing and in low level designing the architects uh, will be like uh, he will deep dive into the map or blueprint blueprint and in that uh, the architect will be like he will discuss like in a home section where the kitchen will be where the bedrooms will be where the washroom where the storeroom dining table all these uh, things will be like uh, discussed and created uh, in a deep manner so like this the low level designing works after that the low level and high level designing will feed into the next phase uh, which is a development of coding so here the developer which include like senior developers junior developers also the freshers will be there in this phase of sdlc uh, developers start building or developing the software and also start writing the coding for the product the output from this phase is then provided to the next phase which is a testing 
in testing while developing the software application it is given to the testing department for the testing purpose and uh, it tests uh, the particular software tests thoroughly for finding any defects or issues also to check whether the particular module feature or the software application as a whole is uh, uh, created and functioning as per the requirement or not they either like the team will either uh, perform a so manual software testing or if there is any need uh, of the automation then automated testing tool also will be used as per defined in the in the stlc so stlc is also a main part of a for the testing purpose uh, it is a software testing life cycle it is all about the uh, testing life cycle so this is also we will going to discuss in uh, next our next video so yeah so these components are very important component of uh, the software uh, to check whether it works well or not so once the testing team makes sure that the software is a bug free it goes to the next stage which is deployment or the implementation so in the sixth phase that is deployment or installation once the software product is tested uh, uh, after user acceptance testing is done depending on the customer expectation then it is deployed in the production environment so in case of user acceptance testing or uat a replica of the production environment will be there will be created and customer will be doing the testing with the help of the developers like developers will be there with the uh, testing team of the client if uh, in case if there is any issue they are facing so for that developers will be there they will uh, like they will fix that issue at that point only so like this the deployment installation work another point is there if the application is expected as per the client like working functionalities business scenarios are working as per the client so then they sign off uh, in between like customer and client uh, and also the business partner and the application or product goes live so after that what happens a maintenance will be there so after installation of the software application on the production environment maintenance of the product that is support for any issue comes up and needs to be fixed or any enhancement needs to be done is taken care by the company free of cost only for a fixed amount of time and after that they will like the business partner will do a charge uh, after the client uh, after the particular time of period for the maintenance purpose this works like uh, when uh, if there is a contract between the client and the company like uh, for uh, one year they will uh, they will develop the particular software application for the client and after that for the next 6 month they will provide a maintenance for the free of cost but after 6 month uh, they will charge to client for the maintenance purpose for the maintenance point of view they will charge to the client so like this the whole software development life cycle goes on like uh, a particular software develops like how the requirement requirement gathering is there like how the ba business analyst or product analyst uh, goes to the client and uh, gather all the requirements that is business requirement and then uh, uh, the ba or uh, ba that is business analyst or product analyst will convert that business requirement specification into the software requirement specification and then upon that software requirement specification that is srs how the designing is done how the low and high level designing is done and uh, af upon the designing how the coding is performed like how the code is uh, developed and uh, after coding how the module per module is developed and is integrated to create a particular software application and then the testing is done like functional integration system testing will be performed as per the test planning and strategy and after the whole testing process once the software is uh, working fine as per the requirement and there are no major issues are there in the software application no major issues are present then it goes to the production environment and goes live for the end users so that end users can use the software 
and maintenance after that maintenance will be provided for a particular time of period so like this sdlc works so yeah guys that's that is all for today and yeah if you guys uh, enjoyed this video also gain some knowledge from this video please hit the like button also please share with your friends please hit that uh, red subscribe button so that uh, yeah it gives uh, like it motivates me to create more videos like this and uh, yeah so that i can present in front of uh, in front in front of all of you so uh, yeah guys that is all for today thank you